Hello and welcome to what I call a new video and today we are going to be continuing British East India Company playthrough. Last time around we successfully averted ourselves some good old mutinies and lost to the Sikh Empire about 17,000 times. We actually lost territory over here. Um, I'm good at this game, I swear. And I just realized I wasn't wearing my headphones, so we might have heard just, you know, an intro with two voices. whoop do you do Now, we currently can't really do anything because we owe an obligation to Great Britain, who is domineering towards us. And I don't know why being, like, obligated to Great Britain makes me unable to get Burma, but, you know, it's just a thing that happens. Thou shall not question Victoria the Third. Well, that's just gone. That's just very unnice of you, honestly. <laughs> Great Britain, Morocco Protectorate. I can't believe that President Benedict Cole has a Senate to the United States of American throne. Benedict Cole. Oh, they banned slavery, too. Yeah, there was that civil war thing. Yeah, they haven't yet reconstructed all of these states over here, uh, which is really funny to me. I'm pretty sure Missouri also seceded in this timeline. Did it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did, but it doesn't have the unreconstructed state. Neither does Florida for some reason. I, I know they didn't secede in this timeline, but uh, it's, it's the Dixie homeland that should get it, but it, it didn't get it, so I'm, I'm just confused. What the hell, Britain? You made the colonial tag, British East Africa, and then go went ahead and decided, huh? Well, I made myself a little bit of a British East Africa, but I don't really, don't, I don't like them. They cringe. Bro, they, they are actively getting, they are actively getting better. Like, they are getting landed voting. What do you have against British East Africa? If I were to be British East Africa, I would be offended. I mean, Sutherland North, the ethno-nationalist. <laughs> the ethno-nationalist lawyer. <laughs> He's an ethno-nationalist. <laughs> Well, hold on, your name's Sutherland Law. Your name's a contrad fucking diction. You call yourself a lawyer when your name is Sutherland North. Your name's a contradiction, and your fucking lawyer, who's also an ethno-nationalist. Oh, I wonder who you're representing. Definitely not anyone else besides the English. Fuck you. I'm getting heated. <laughs> For Sutherland Law. You know what, Britain? Good, good work. Good work taking him out. Where's his goddamn capital? Where is Sutherland North right now? He's on an island! He's on the Indian Ocean Territory, like the motherfucker Indian Sutherland Ocean Territory, Sutherland North. <laughs> I know how to speak. I'm molding about Sutherland North. Yeah, I don't, I like, rule folk, I don't wanna. <laughs> like, you're telling me to enact racial segregation, but I'm like, I'm like sitting here and, no, I'm, I ain't about that. <laughs> like, you're gonna not like me? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care is the thing. Like, five weeks? I don't care. You know what, actually, I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. I'm gonna press this button, and suddenly, wait, should it be less? Because I'm passing it? Well, it isn't. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, you're angry, minus 10, but like, I, I don't care. Wait, my, my guy is also a lawyer. He's a land reforming lawyer, by the way. Way better than this motherfucker. Did they just annex them and immediately release them again? I... Sure. The Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. Okay, the agrarian party just asked me to finance their campaign, and I'ma be honest, buddy, buddy, you don't need it. <laughs> You have 70% of the vote. You, you're not lose Britain, I'm not giving you my subjects or land. <laughs> I don't actually have a navy. I, I didn't, I didn't expect this to go to war with France. I'm pretty sure I have a border with France. Uh-oh, I do have a border with France. And Portugal, as a matter of fact. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, uh the conquer the territory. Like, occupy it. There's a lot of boats. <laughs> There's a lot of boats. There's, there's people. Oh, they are landing. In Burma? Okay, you got them, you got them. Okay, now how about you station yourself over here? Cause like, cause like they are trying something here and I don't like it. I'm not a particular fan of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build us some more frigates. Is that gonna be enough to defeat these guys? Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not. It's 91 ships. The first French fleets over there. Okay, bloody everyone's trying to land. All right. Okay, I think you can, I can, uh, Bingo, Burma, Burma, you can deal with that on your own, right? Yeah, that's, that's like fine. You, you over here, I, you don't, you can't deal with that, I'm, 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 I have to deal with this. Thank God I got field works, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That gives me some good old defense. Okay, one of my generals just decided to uh, fuck off. I, we got them all here. We got them all here. Thanks, guys. I don't need it. <laughs> you can land. Come on. Give me a, give me a good old scrap. Oh, shit, they are landing. Oh, you're fucking lost, mate. Oh, you're stupid. 
General Lazare made that's not a name. That's a that's an insult. <laughs> Alfred Kinglake? No, that's a goddamn name. We at the fucking terrain, you fucking Frenchy bastard. You think you can beat us when we are the army of swag? Do you really fucking think that? Huh, that's crazy. Absolutely insane of them to think that. Oh, you're trying again. Oh, you're trying again. Oh, yeah. If, if Your name. It's, it's a fucking insult to every French man that ever existed. Lazare? Lazare? Is that a fucking name? Lazare? Your defensive strat- A defensive surveyor with home offense and home defense. Bitch, you ain't even close to home. You are going out of your crib and this is what you're trying to do? This? Really? You ain't nothing. You ain't shit, bro. I'm wait- I'm, My ass is waiting until your ass is out of my goddamn war here. Liberate Bikana? Yeah, fuck off. As if I'm liberating Rajputana. The entire fucking state for Madagascar. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, no, dangerous naval invasion in South Bengal. Oh, very fucking dangerous with the guy who can't even spell a stupid ass name. Ain't no way I'm losing this. That's 99 ships right there. Yeah, 99 ships can go up your fucking asshole in your Brittany. Fucking from Bravos in Brittany. These. These chuckle fucks think that I'm gonna invade Madagascar while they're in the war. Yeah, sure, buddy. That's how it's gonna happen. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Fucking naval invade once more. You gotta lose three times with 0% land progress. So go ahead and try and land. Fucking Kingdom of France. What are you even? La Rangere? Your shit ain't got no drip. You are stupid. Authoritarian stupid. That's who you are. Absolute monarchy, fuck you. Yeah, the French got that special juice that makes them that special kind of stupid. Bro's trying to land in Burma again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, bye bye Portugal, no one fucking cares. If anyone's ever fucking said in their entire life, oh yeah, I care about Portugal, they lied to you. <laughs> fuck you. Get your bitch ass out of here. That's number three. That's number three. Bye. 30,000 dead Frenchmen. Get your bitch ass out of here. You can get your- you, you can't get your poor laws, actually. That would bankrupt me. I have way too many people to get the poor laws out. Actually, I have the ethical policy. It's probably- I, that's probably the only way I can do it. Yeah, it's fine. I don't have bureaucracy anyway. Okay, we're losing- we're losing money on the whole building stuff. Meaning, we gotta build some things of our own. And I- I got the perfect thing to build. Because honestly, I ain't- I- I just built five in a place where we can't field one. That's crazy. Can, can you get your bitch ass out of here? I'm pretty sure it's minus 20 for someone who isn't involved at all. I can't beat that. <laughs> that's funny, actually. Well, they're understaffed. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a lot of people, actually. Well, it doesn't really fucking matter, because you're going down, buddy. You think you can land? You think you can land in my capital? Yeah, that's crazy. That's kind of insane, actually, if you think about it. Yeah, I want to see whose bitch ass is going to show up now. Minus 25. Minus 25. Minus 26 on the war support. I'm pretty sure it's minus... Um, maybe it's minus 30, actually. Oh, no, there you go. Ah, that's crazy how you fucking suck so bad. Ain't no single Frenchman good. All of the all of these people are fucking stupid. I can wait as long as I goddamn please. Because I need... Like... I need the qualifications. I need to wait for the qualifications to finish. To go up, I guess. So I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna build a bunch of universities. I'm gonna put them at the top of the list. Am I gonna lose stupid amounts of money? Yes. Is it gonna be worth it? Absolutely. How are you? What, are you Russian too? Yeah, you are. Oh, all right. If Russia is just taking over fucking Australia. You, you gotta hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> wait, hold on. That's a, that's a tag. What? That's- oh, that's Western Australia. That's Western Australia that just has a treaty port there. Yeah, yeah, sure. You know, I remember in history books when India couldn't have a navy because no one could read. Like, we don't have seamen? That's- I could've worded that, but... We don't have people that know how to be on sea. That don't know- that don't make- that don't add up in my brain. I'm- I'm honestly- I'm- I'm saying it honestly. How do we not have people to go in ships? I know Paradox is trying to say everyone who isn't European is stupid, but like, they ain't that stupid. Navies existed before Euro Europeans. Like, huh? So I just built a bunch of universities, right? Uh, but none of them, I have the effect that I want. And the effect that I want is, you know, for the qualifications to be stupid high. But you know, the uh, one level only gives 15% uh, qualification. And, uh, and it is an instant. So we still don't have any fucking one who has the qualifications. 
to be a sailor. This is really funny to me. We we need a thousand officers, not that much, and seven thousand servicemen. We are in India. Why? Why? Why do servicemen, servicemen need qualifications? The fuck are you qualifying for? Holding a gun. I'm pretty sure we tell you how to do it. I'm pretty sure that's what power of the purse does to you. Yeah, it gives training rate. We train you for this. You don't need qualifications to be in servicemen. We, you, yeah, you need the qualifications of isn't dead. And second qualification, has four limbs. Can't find any of those people in India. Never heard of a single person with four limbs who isn't dead in India. Oh, well, I've heard of 3,000 of them, as you see. How do they have artillery? How do your agrarian party ruined my fucking government? Because they thought it was a good idea. Hey, let's get this guy in charge who's an authoritarian man. Also well connected. Look at him go. He's an arrogant prick though. Don't worry about it. We hate the guy. We absolutely despise the guy. But he's got expensive days and is well connected. So hey, this screen is just inherently stupid. Oh, we can't hire due to due to what now? We can't hire officers because we don't have the qualifications to have officers. Then hire servicemen! Hello? You fucking dense! Oh well, we can't hire officers, so we can't possibly hire servicemen. It's- it's gonna be a shit fucking army, don't get me wrong, but at least it's gonna be an army. A thing we are currently lacking, which is why we are trying to get one. You know? We don't need a good army. We don't need an army that's good at their job. We just need a fucking army. This screen baffles me. We got we got enough people for academics. No, don't get me wrong. But officers, no, no, no. We we gotta possibly do that. No, what? How about how about we get another another level of universe? Maybe I'm a, I'm misjudging the people of Bombay. A white piece. Yeah, fuck off. I'm winning this war. Commu really? <laughs> Communist East Africa. It's fucking over. I'm getting the red scare because some stupid African colony of Great Britain got a communist uprising. Who's this leader? They don't even have a leader. They're a vanguard state with the leadership of nothing. Why is Archibald not there? Archibald is a really good leader. No, we don't we don't do leaders here. Red Revolution yellow headlines, do not care. Yeah, more more loyalists. I that's just good for me. You know, I would go over there and, and, and try to, you know, do a little bit of a, do a, bit, a little bit of a tussle, but I can't. You, you doing what? No. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so we, Houston, we got a problem. Uh, these guys are the problem. That, that is our problem. Coup attempt foiled. Okay, now that the coup attempt is foiled, we get them back in. Ah, uh, because they're now very angry, man. Hold on. Wait. Wait, I gotta get the 50-50. <laughs> I didn't get the 50-50. Can you wait a moment? Why are you so angry, by the way? Prevented coup gives you minus 10. Ooh, our coup got foiled. Fuck you. <laughs> that don't make no sense, my guy. They're angry. They're angry. They're angry. Can we just get this before? Can we just get prepared one? Like, it's, it's a 63% chance. What happened here? Where are the Dutch East Indies? Do we just undutch the East Indies? Okay, that's 50%. Uh, can we just, can we just... Uh, professional army, 66 percent. All right, so now we get that, right? Yeah, now we get that, and now we can act na national fucking god. Can we get, can we get secret police instead? I, I want to see, I want to have secret police instead of that. All right, are you a happy guy now? Now you're angry. Fuck you. Like we have that red scare. Ooh, ooh, ooh real scary. While well, the communist East Africa has been occupied fully. Oh, we got another ship. We got another ship. We got four now. That's crazy. We got 2.1k. I'm gonna move the decrease of social mobility here because apparently that's like the only thing I got now. Maybe enlistment efforts. Maybe that'll help. I don't think it will. You know, what if I go ahead and diddly do a little bit of doing, you know? What if all I gotta do is get rid of enlistment efforts, go over here to my money, make them pay for luxury furniture, and do social mobility not in that state, and then I go back up here to luxury clothes. Suddenly I'm only losing 11k, and that I can simply not lose by doing that. Alright, maybe we just need another level of university, you know? Maybe that really is all we need. A good old, a good old university in Bombay. What if I sent my navy? I got four ships. Right? This is a horrible idea, by the way. Like, genuinely a horrible idea. I'm just wasting my ships. We both blundered! Hey! Good visibility. That changed nothing about my defense. Nice. You love to see it. And we controlled retreat. <laughs> we're up to five ships, though. Let's go, Bombay! How many did we get? Ah, oh, 1k. <laughs> That's crazy. Fine, white piece. I only did the white piece because I'm getting tired of not doing the Doctrine of Labs. <laughs> 700. 
I can finally do stuff. Reduce autonomy. It's over. It's more red on the world. Burma will not accept. I hate you. Ban slavery, that, that they will accept. Fine, do that. Yo, I can do stuff. Annex subject. No, I could, I could just do this. 25% baby. They said no. Do I care? No. They have 2,000 men and I'm surrounding them with 57,000, 44,000. We don't have a lot of people in our army. Because we, they're not qualified to be officers. Which is a thing. Imagine your nation being too fucking stupid to get officers. You know what, maybe all I need to do to get a good navy is uh, destroy every barrack in this state. <laughs> I can't destroy them. Why? Why can't I destroy them? The Bombay barracks. Do I Do I have I have to do it through here? But why? Literally why? <laughs> why can't I just not do it through here? That's... Uh, hello? Found two. Ah. Oh, found four. Somewhere in here, Bombay is hiding. You may wonder why you can't just delete barracks in the state. Well, Timmy, that would make sense. But that, this is Victoria 3, where we don't make sense. I missed two. I can't find them. Guess who's hiring now, though? Let's go! Wait, are you from Bombay? No. Get back in there. Wait, hold on. One Lancer, two Shrapnel artillery. Oh, okay. So it's not the skirmish anymore. Two Shrapnel. Oh! Ah, found ya! Oh! Oh! Ho ho! You fucking dumbass. Now we gotta find a Lancer. Ah, oh, there he is. Fuck him. And now that we have made all of the officers quit their job, we can go ahead and hire him here. This is... Oh, uh, I forgot. Naval bases take fucking ages! I forgot! Uh, that's, uh, that's crazy! Everyone doesn't wanna be a fucking democracy. Why is New South Wales Russian now? Why is it just slowly but surely all turning Russian? What? Am I next? <laughs> Britain, Britain, what are you do? Do you, do you like, like Russia? Yeah, they're friendly. That means they're doing this on purpose. <laughs> I hate that I'm doing this. I, I hate. I hate you. You authoritarian man. What do you want? Single party state autocracy, neutral towards technocracy. So what I'm doing, you're neutral too. But I'm not going wealth voting, because I know no one has a- No one in this nation has any fucking money. Oh thanks, Great Britain. That's real that's real sweller, yeah. Ironclad. No, ironclads are those. Still gotta walk around with frigates. Woo! Can I build iron clients? Oh, I can. There's too many, by the way. Pretty sure the second, the second thing, the capital ships, has to be less than light ships. Currently, it isn't. But don't worry, we got the naval base building. We are hiring all the people after firing them, because that's the only way we can get people. Ah, uh, now look at this go. We already got all them going. Glad my officers are becoming more radical. Why isn't that curious? <laughs> the French peasant revolt with the provisional government looking like, uh, looking like a government in Vichy. Um, I kinda neglected to mention that, um, I'm invading Zanzibar, but, <laughs> you know, as you do. Also, I feel as though I'm not gonna lose these fa- Why is my offense one? What? I have ironclads. Why is my offense one? I have ironclads. 45 offense. What? Why was my offense one? Huh? I don't understand. What? Why was my offense w I need to know. Are you a pacifist or something that doesn't fucking like attacking? Commander, you get a 10% kill rate. Less morale loss. Home offense and defense. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. How? Why? How did you lose? I'm trying again. I'm, I'm going to the C note again. I outnumbered them. I had the better ships. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until you got that 100% presence. Are you already fighting? Now you have 22. What? <laughs> That is, that is, that is stupid. That is absolutely idiotic to me. Is it because of the minus 75 invasion efficiency? Buddy, buddy, I am not... Why, why would my navy suffer that minus 75? The, the thing is, it shouldn't. It, it, it doesn't. It does. Now it does. Why is it now one? What? I, this, this doesn't make any fucking sense. My offense on land being worse makes sense. I am trying to land with too few flotillas. Why do you have one offense? I don't understand. This this game this game is the dumbest game I have ever fucking played. And now I have a stupid ass civil war over wealth voting. No, wealth voting. There you go. Victory, 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 and the occupation is fucking horseshit. And then I fight with one offense somehow. I I win because they have absolutely no one in this fucking unit anymore.
But the fact is that I gain a 75% disadvantage because... Because I'm navally invading them with too few flotillas? I don't understand. Why does my navy get the minus 70%? This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. It's fucking, it's incredible how stupid that is. I can't wait for someone to just type mad cause bad. Everyone's fucking dead. I built all that navy for absolutely no reason. Australian Federation, you get you get a bonus now, Alexander. I, I I used up all that time to build a stupid ass navy that dies immediately because one attack. I love this game. Have I have I mentioned how I love this game yet? No one can tell me with a straight face that this game is good. You want fucking what, mate? What are you? You are authoritarian too? Everyone's authoritarian. Pass it up, boys. I'm not getting wealth voting. Fuck off. I'm getting autocracy. Oh, now you don't start your stupid ass, your stupid ass revolt because oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, let's fucking go. Autocracy? I like that more than world voting. Fuck you. Loyal, oh, thank you. We will, we love you so much. Oh, yeah. And I gotta do it because the intelligentsia wants it. Yes. I hate my nation. I hate, I hate my nation. I hate this war system. I hate the systems of having to have offices. But my, my nation is too fucking idiotic. It is full of people that are so stupid that they cannot, for the life of them, get inside a naval base. It is insane to me. This motherfucker is called Guy. That, that, that 70 year old motherfucker, he's called Guy. Guy Colic. What's the United States president? Benedict Carl still. You're on term fucking 11, but this game doesn't give a shit, even though. Historically, the USA only had two term presidents, except that one time with good old Roosevelt, after which they abolished it. I'm going insane. Oh, now we need electricity. You you researched electricity, immediately went to the made of the thing, and then didn't build any fucking electricity. You love you, Great Britain. I always loved Great Britain. Yeah. And guess who owns Berlin now is baby boy Hamburg. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? German leadership? He already have that. You have been in this war before. Sex of Weimar Protectorate, Frankfurt Protectorate has a castle protectorate. You're just gaining like half of Germany here. Frankfurt has a castle. Has a castle is that one? Oh, that one, that one. Ah, you, you, you're putting them in two. Yeah, you're cutting them in two. Oh, it's gonna be fucking stupid. Let's watch. After this piece meal's done, it's gonna be absolutely fucking stupid. Half of Prussia's country isn't gonna be connected to the market and it's gonna have zero market access. Let's go. Also, while we're here, why not go, go in one more time? For old time's sake, how about we lose again? Let's go. Oh no, everyone loves you. Everyone fucking loves you because you don't get shot! Yeah, I love I love it when the leader of my nation evades assassination. Why were they assassinated again? Oh yeah, because everyone fucking hates them. And now that they evade assassination, everyone loves them. Yeah, that makes as much sense as my stupid ass still being here. Oh, that's a cool anthem. What's our anthem? We hate you all and we wish you fucking died. Oh, and now the Qing Empire has decided to go in. Yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. That's real cool. I'm gonna go ahead and... I, I can't war rep you. Okay, every one of my allies has decided, yeah, fuck this. We're going, we're going to the Qing front because yeah, we ain't dealing with that shit. So, so I have to uh, single-handedly deal with this. Makes sense. Okay, how about we shoot you? Very good now. Yes, indeed. A careful maneuver is gonna do it. The Sikh Empire is absolutely fucking dying over here. Why have they occupied half of this country? The fucking what? How did you win? So how are you occupying all of that? I don't care. We have autocracy now. How did we get pushed out? What? We win every battle. How are we getting pushed out? I don't understand. We're losing now because because the Qing have arrived. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Gonna wait until Ching fucking leaves. You somehow lost against no one. That's crazy. Yeah, Ching, I might be real here. You're not pushing me. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You are pushing me. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shrapnel artillery ain't got nothing on them sticks, boys. What are you using? Maybe I'm getting mad for no reason. Maybe you have shrapnel artillery. You have line infantry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah, makes sense. Love it when that when that is fucking a thing. Imagine using shrapnel artillery to blow out to blow the ching out of your country, and they just say nah. They have suffered half of their maximum military size, and they're not from that. How much are they losing? I'm having lost half their military size. Yeah, I can't imagine it's going well for them either in the mountains. Yeah, it isn't. How did you do that? I. Hello? I'm wi I'm winning every battle. How are you pushing me? Okay, you didn't get in there and you're also not getting this. How- how- why am I defending with 3k against 6k? I know- why am- why am I losing? I by all means shouldn't be. Makes sense to me. 
They've now had 500. Stay on the fucking front. Stay on the fucking front. Why are you moving all the way down there? You absolute fucking idiot. So I can refill my army. Minus 18. It's minus 25, I think. If you go above minus 25, peace out. And we're losing only because of the chain. That's at least what I think. And that just dazzling. <laughs> 14 offense? What? Get your bitch ass out of there. I'm... Stop pushing. <laughs> can I be the one that pushes? <laughs> because every time someone else pushes, we, we lose. Can, can I push? I want to shoot them. Can I get a turn? Can I get, the, get a, can I get a turn on the Wii U? Oh, everyone's going home. Yeah, seen enough. You know, <laughs> army is involved in one battle, so I can't move it to the front line. You, li they literally went home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love, I love it when fucking paradox interactive. It's my favorite time of year. Stop. <laughs> Where are you going? Every every time the front splits, I it's, every time the front splits, I have an aneurysm. Fucking, you are there. An act restricted child labor? I can do that. It's not like they're working anyway. This nation's a fucking shithole because they don't got the qualifications. You know, everyone's fucking stupid. There we fucking go. One thousand on Punjab. All right. And with this, we have United India. Fucking hell. I, this is not an achievement. That's, I, I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it so much. Burma? Burma annex subject. Will not accept. Siam? Siam reduce autonomy. 93. Let's get this. Let's get this bread. You accept it. God sent. Adva. Adva 25. Absolutely fucking not. Get some upgrade. On. We need to upgrade all of these people. Like, I, I just inherited a bunch of Sikh troops that are shit. You know what, bankroll. Oh, I stalled. That's crazy. 25%. Nope. They really love saying no. I really don't want to mobilize. Uh, Burma, can you go? The don't worry. Other people went already. All right. The Pashtush people are succeed. Where are the Pashtush? I have absolutely no idea. Iranians? Those guys. I right. Fuck them. Pashtush. <laughs> anyway, mobilize. And then walk like a little bit up. The Afghan uprising. By God. I'm so scared. And horrified. I sent no one up there because I thought you'd win faster. Jesus Christ. Can you go to the front? Have you, have you, tr like, ever tried using your prank? Ah, so now I see that bug. So, I demobilized my army because they don't have anything to do. Uh, and now, as you can see, there was 90 additional days, but, like, the 90 days was there for a very long time. And I think after this war is over, those days stop counting down. We're gonna go ahead and wait for the Afghanis to surrender and see if the army of Swank has to still demobilize. It stops counting down. That's the thing. I found the bug. It only counts while at war. There's a 25% chance for most of these. It's, it's, it's really unfortunate, but the Doctrine of Labs just gives me one for free. So I don't have to deal with that one anymore, but I still have to deal with these guys and it's always a 25% and it never fucking works. Uh, so I made a second army called the Cleanup Army. The Cleanup Army is led by General Paul Haviland Burke and uh, he is only here because he can, he's just here. I don't know why. No one really knows why he's here, but everybody knows that he's here. I don't want a police. I don't have any bureaucracy. Enact free trade. Now that I can do. Actually, that I can't do. I can't do nothing because this shit sucks. Wait, is Persia and the Russian? Ma yeah, they are, huh? All right, yeah, it makes sense. Jaipur, not a single one, not a single person except. I don't understand. What are the chances? I can get a company. Woo, I am so happy with this. I mean, at least it has the productivity. You know, get more Minton, get more Loyalists. You would think I would hit at least one of these. It's a 25% chance each time. And sometimes, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta think, you know? What are the odds that n literally no one accepted? And then you, then you gotta rethink like a little more. Like, why did they make it RNG in the first place? That's like weird. Like in, in EU4, it's, it's a gradual process of integrating a, a vassal. Yeah, you, you gotta do it over a period of time. They don't really have a say in it as long as they aren't rebellious. And, uh, you know, as you can see, none of my people are rebellious. They're all loyal to me. They all love me. Uh, but no matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, I always end up in this very situation. This very situation 
where I am here pressing a button for a 25% chance of acceptance in Dead's game design. You know, I, I, if I wasn't so jaded by everything that is Victoria Free, I would, I would gladly welcome this change. It's a new change, a better change. You can now peacefully annex vassals, they said. It'd be fun, they said. But no, in actuality, all you really do is click a button and hope that the gods look down upon you with a smile. A smile of grace in your 25% chance of not losing your mind while trying to play the video game they call Victoria the Third. Yes, I am saying that right now, right here. We lose our minds playing this game. It doesn't make any sense. No matter how you try, no matter what you do, you will always end up back here. Back here with the memories of the past. The memories of something always lost. And yes, I lost all of this. I lost my mind. I lost my friends. I lost my family. I lost my YouTube channel. Yes, this YouTube channel right here. I lost it all. Just for a chance to play Victoria Free. No, I had a good run before this. I was I was uploading videos left, right, and center about Minecraft. They weren't getting any views. No, no, no. Nothing was getting views ever. I never had that luck. And then Victoria Free came along. Germany playthrough. That's what they said. We want to see you play Germany and Victoria Free is what they said. And then I did it. I folded. Like, I folded. Like I never folded before, and now I am here pressing this button over and over again. Bastards ours. I'm not waiting for another war. 25% they said, and finally it happened. But all of this conquest has given me the infamy of a notorious boy, and I'm still here with multiple vessels under my boot. And the civil war to boot. You know what? Sure, fine. Whatever can I do for you, landowners? Because I am nothing but a landowner bitch. That's what I've become. This playthrough has made me a bitch to the men above me, to the men that own land. And now, suddenly, suddenly, without any hesitation, people say yes to my demand of subjugation. Only one said no, and that one is a tiny, insignificant speck of nothing that ever matters in the real world. You know, I feel like I fucked this nation. If I don't, if I don't enact the dedicated police, then then there will be a civil war. If I had a, if, if, if I get no police, then there will be a civil war on the Rowland Bonquet. This I have created the perfect rush of an idiotic this nation. This nation is a dumpster fire, a dumpster fire that will never, in any sort of ever, resolve itself. Angry, angry, angry. Everyone is angry with me. My entire nation is angry with me. I have put ourselves in a corner, a corner of despair. Is that what was what Junko Enoshima was talking about? Maybe it is. I wouldn't know. I am not that smart of an individual to know this. Gladi, Gladi, Gladi. You know, I was always a fan of Yusuf, the first man to ever rule Galeti, the man to free the serves in Galeti. I was always a fan of that man. But now, now, the new Sultan, Sizman Gobran of Galeti, yeah, he hates me, he despises me. He despises the East India Trading Company for what it truly is, an autocratic piece of piss. Everyone in our nation is discriminated against. Every single human being possible is getting treated with the respect they never deserved. Yes, that is what we are. We are nothing but an unacceptable stain on this world. Play India, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Make the bids now. What will happen first? Two ticks of 100% for dedicated police force or hundreds? percent on this right here. It'll gain 22% a tick, by the way, so we have approximately three ticks left as number one. We go back, we go back a nice minus 10. I'm pretty sure we still only have two ticks though. I believe there's going to be a nice old jolly civil war, as we always do it. Oh, the revolutionaries raid, the revolutionaries aid. 
Well, minus 10, let's hope for it. Indeed, we got it. We will definitely not get dedicated police for some time. There's absolutely no way in hell. Or is there? 22% on top of this. I feel like we still have a tick left. We definitely don't have that many days left, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All we have to do is go down a lot over here. And then we have a contested government. And as we have a contested government, this will pass Quicker, indeed it will. Oh no, 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 oh that is unfortunate. Now we shall see who's truly the best. 38 days, 5 weeks, 6th of May, <laughs> 9th of May. Hold on just a moment here. What if we were to take this away? And what if we were to take this away? Because this actually gives us less enactment time, meaning the 5th of May! <laughs> oh, hold on, let's get some, let, let's get, let's get some more time, let's go! The 4th of May. <laughs> no civil war, ya bitch. Ya Funky little rooster. <laughs> My bloody win. You know what? Let's tax everything. Why not tax the common goods? This over here. Let's tax a little bit of this. Yes, indeed. All right. I don't believe we need to build all of this now. Let the people build what they wish. Yes. Now please shoot them in the face as hard as you can so we can finally call the East India Company United like never before. This is quite soothing, is it not? Very soothing indeed. I feel at ease. Every single piece of money I lose, it just fuels me more, you know? And with this, we are successfully the British East India company. They will not. You know, Burma, I have been a friend to you, a eh, pal. I have given you all I can, but now you wish to just not give up anything. What if I owe you an obligation? You do not want. Well, it's time then, is it not, old friend? I think I've just about seen enough of you. Well, with this whole act you've been putting on, I really do not. I really don't care for you now, I must say. The Qing Empire coming in for your aid is quite admirable, I would say, yes. Adorable, even. For you see, all I need to do is get my good old friend of the British Empire to help out just a smidge. Why did my annexation war goal against Burma disappear? Game? Game? can't be real. <laughs> it, it is. It is. I can't. I, I, I am very unable... Rewind. We're going back to May. Back to May. Yes, indeed. That's what I proclaim. Back to May. You know what? You know what? I think I've seen quite enough. I think I've had the measure of you. Yes, indeed. I do not need to deal with you. No, I am going to give in to the demands. And this is the true East India Company. Yes, this is the image I was looking for when I went through and painstakingly played until 1892. 1892, that's what I did for this. <sighs> you know, there was a time and a place where I actually thought I had the measure of you, where I thought I was the one in control, not Victoria Free. No, no, no. I was the one with the wielding power, the power to wield you, wield me. I am the stupid one. I hope you enjoyed this mental breakdown.